Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Once again, once again, every day, turn on the machine. And live forever. Here we go. I'm alive. I made it all the way back around here to Wednesday. Who would have thought I would have made it this long? I wasn't so sure today. Uh, oh, I put the box right in a weird spot. Look at the plant. We got the plant. We got the road. Things are blocking me. I got to lean to do this. Hopefully, I don't lean too hard and fall asleep. It's uh, hot outside. Ooh, it makes me want to sleep. <laughs> Fall asleep a little bit. Here I fell. Whoa. Here falling asleep. Um it's uh it's Wednesday. Who knows about this stuff? It's found something pretty wild. It's like an original. Um it's Wednesday. Today and yesterday was Tuesday, and the day before that was Monday, and the day before that was Sunday, and the day before that was Saturday, and the day before that was Thursday, or Friday. Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, you know? For as long as I can remember, it's how it's been. We had this crazy time. We didn't change the calendar. We didn't change the weeks. Some people changed some things. Some people didn't change other things. We're up and down, left and right, running around, circling, and ju juking? Are you juking? Are you been, anybody been juking? I don't know, I've been circling. Who's been juking? We've been circling, we've been juking, we've been up and, up, uh, ups and downs. Jumps and jukes. Jokes and jars. Jews and Jehovah head guys. Jalom, jalopies and jalopies. Um, yeah, yesterday the program on Tuesday around. Oh, jeez. Did I do the program yesterday? Did I forget? Did I miss a day? Let's see. Very little memories from yesterday. I was very overheated. I think this was yesterday, right? I was wearing the sunglasses, overheated, about to fall asleep. I think that like I was messed up, so messed up I didn't think. I think today might be a little bit cooler than yesterday, but then it's gonna get really hot and I'm scared. I'm scared for the next few days, viewers. I know you're in, in the future probably, and if you're watching this live on YouTube, or on the YouTube like pretty quickly like the next day, but it might be you might be watching this in a while and it's not so hot anymore and you made it through it. But I don't know if I'm gonna get through it. I'm really concerned for <laughs> my well-being. Maybe I'm not gonna live. Uh, am I gonna live? We'll see. Am I gonna live through the next couple of days? This might be the last couple of days. Might be one of the final programs if I don't make it through that heat time. I think it'd be a really bad way to die. But I think I'll have to be caught out in, in, in the like, direct sunlight to die. I think if I'm inside drinking water, I'll just be uncomfortable, slightly uncomfortable, and I think I'll live. Oh, yeah, you're so really cool yourself now. Like, when you're, you're 98 degrees, your body is 98 degrees. That's where it's supposed to be. Uh, 100 and, it's supposed to be 104. 100 and, what, what's a fever? 101 or 102? That's a fever. So if you're running a fever of that, that will kill you. And if you don't move and you're in that kind of heat, that'll kill you. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. You have to just sit there and deal or something. I think I'm going to be in the city at least with water and fans. So maybe, just maybe, I'll live. If I really, really thought I was going to die, I hopefully I would be doing more about it. So I probably will live. I'm just 
being maybe dramatic about it, but we'll see. Today is pretty hot. I'm not even like dying of the heat yet. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll start dying. Uh, Yesterday I was so tired, but after the program I uh, just uh, made it back to my residence. I rode the bus up there. And I was done by, I mean, I was in bed by like 7 o'clock. I was getting up and down, napping, sitting. I still ended up staying up all night. What was I doing all night? I don't know. Watching random videos that I don't remember. So even though I had the lot of free time to stay up, I still ended up staying up all night. Being very tired. I'm getting here late. But I yeah, went home, watched TV, read some of the book. Did the tape stuff. I gotta do laundry today. I'm gonna do laundry today. I'm gonna get back. I ended up sleeping. Waking back up this morning. Did a little work. I didn't make it to work. And then I came down here. Came down here to uh, sit. I got some pizza. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, am I gonna come down here? I go to the basement. Program. I went in the basement where I was in the whole time. The basement's pretty cool. Up here, not usually very cool traditionally. It's often very, very hot in this room. But I might sit right in front of the fan. I'm look at those messages. Almost ran out of y'all for much of this. Maybe we left some more. I gotta get water or something. Uh, how old is the water? So I'm doing this stuff I'm like getting, I'm trying to like get enough clothes so I don't have to do the laundry very often. I'm doing, I don't know how that works though because now I feel like I'm doing laundry just as much because once I have enough clothes to go into the laundry then they sh I should launder them. Otherwise they start building up and get confused. So how often the laundry I'm doing one river. Every week? Once a week, right? That's when I should be doing the laundry. Once a week, so maybe I should put it on the. Uh, get seven. <laughs> or I guess 14 outfits. But I need 21 outfits, including pajamas. Maybe I can keep wearing the pajamas. That'll be 21 outfits a week, though. I'm gonna wash 21 outfits a week. You only wear clothes for one day, right? But I've got work clothes, casual clothes, and dinner. I don't know if I wear all three little outfits every day. It's three outfits a day. 
How many? I mean, how many officers do I have now? Like, five, six? I just want need a couple more. I don't know, 21. Can I wash 21 outfits a week? Maybe if they're small. But then when I do my sheets. Maybe I should put it into a schedule. I don't really have it on a schedule. I just kind of do it when it seems right. But it seems like it should work out with the whole week thing. And then so, hey, can you go do this thing? It's like, I can't go do that. It's a laundry day. But yeah, I got some stuff to take care of for it's laundry day. That's reasonable. That's reasonable. It's like, I don't know. Is it an excuse? Is it only an excuse if it's false? I have a valid, a valid excuse. Is there even such a thing? I'm trying to think of excuses might be inherently invalid. Otherwise, there'd be a reason. So like, if you need to make enough excuses, it's too late. Like, you should have already it out. Um, I have a room. Kind of psychological language I try to use. Like when you people say that you're sorry. Please forgive me, it's always better to put it on somebody else and not in a, not in a, like, like an avoidance kind of way, but if you say, sorry, then it's like, all about you say, excuse me, and then they can, they can say, I, you know, then, then they excuse you or you say, forgive me. And then they're like, I, I do forgive you, I'm a good person, I'm a forgiver. Excuse me, oh no problem. He says, sorry, sorry, sorry. I said, well, okay, whatever. Sorry, I guess I whatever you're saying, sorry. Uh, excuse me works out better. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I have an excuse. Why would you do that? You say, I have a reason to be, or you don't say it at all. I think it's just better. And like, <coughs> Just like life, kind of like showbiz, so you make a mistake, nobody notices. And you notice and you fixed it or whatever. Did it ever happen? Kind of like the tree falling in the woods, but less, even less, because nothing even happens. Tree falling in the woods is a whole disrupting probably some tree itself, maybe a squirrel. Other thing, but it's something that you fix. You know, it's absolutely nothing. Yeah, people in the woods. Maybe some squirrels are unhomed, and maybe some bugs or squish. And they're, you know, effective. The whole trees be, or people being. The finders of reality is a little selfish. If you believe in, if you believe in the universe, then there's like infinite planets without habitation, without anybody seeing or witnessing, let alone people or animals or anything. And they exist, but uh, it's like, do they make a sound? Probably pretty loud at some of those places out there if they got an atmosphere of air. It's pretty loud. Like, if a volcano explodes on 
just that plant. Did it make a sound? Just shot them making sounds all the time. I don't know if you're missing out on going to the bar, going to see these people, or if you're just missing out on a volcano of some distant planet that's happening all the time. What are we missing out on? I don't know, I'm on the verge of some changes. I might soon be moving to Lacey, and uh, are we going to keep this studio? I've been here for so long, but do I want to come here every day? Maybe I might, I might end up not being a downtown person anymore. We'll see. Making me mean, no longer a bar person, no longer a downtown person after this whole thing. I'm not sure. All right, let's go look at the phone. Oh, I'm getting up. Yeah, not too hot today. It's gonna be worth winning. It's gonna be worse later on. When it's hot out, what we're going to do, you can call the number 336-436-434. Or you can get on the meet. You go to whitehwm.com and get the video, the video phone. I'm pulling this thing up. If uh, nobody left any messages, then we'll call Mark, the guitar player. See if Mark's gonna answer the phone today. Oh, looks like James. James and Yellow follow us the messages. James. See what James had to say today. When did you leave a message, James? In the morning. Hey. You guys can call me today. Whenever you get on the program, please. I'm just... I'm struggling. Oh, James. I need people to talk to. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh. Oh, my God. Alpha, trying to get off of meth, James. Oh, my God, James. Are you crying? I'm gonna help somebody today. I'm a hero. <laughs> hey. Hi, James. Hi, how are you? You doing okay? Yeah. Um, struggling, huh? Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah, that's what you said in your message. That was in the afternoon, huh? I don't know, whenever I called you, I have no idea. <laughs> are you having withdrawal, or are you, is that what's going on? Yeah, basically, I guess. Yesterday was really shitty. I got into an argument with somebody, a really bad, bad, bad argument, and uh, they were being an asshole, and they wouldn't stop saying what they were saying over and over again, and we were in the car, and I was, like, crying and begging them to stop and shit. And um, I grabbed the wheel, and I grabbed this person by the neck, only for a second, and then I realized what I was doing, and then I started hitting myself. And, uh, but, yeah, but I did drive us off the road, and uh, he tried to call the police, blah, blah, blah. It was a long story, and then basically I got home, and no, no police came, nothing, nothing like that happened. Nobody was injured in the making of this film, but... Um, oh, my God. Um, yeah, then... I, no. But, um, yeah, I was just losing my shit. I couldn't deal with it. I was like, I'm begging you to stop, and he wouldn't stop, and I just snapped. So then now I'm really pissed about all that because then, you know, I just, I'm annoyed with myself and I did something stupid and fucked up because I was being crazy. But he knew damn well what was happening, and he could, like, he shouldn't have been that way. He was being a fucking dick, but 
Um, yeah, then he blocked me and everything, blah, 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 and then that's been a whole dramatic thing. And then today, I've just mostly been crying and sleeping all day. Yeah, well, are you after and, uh, And, uh, crying a lot, having this zaps, you know, the zaps that's, like, in your head, it's like zap, like, like, a, these feelings where it's, like, shit's shaking in your head or something, trying to, it's, like, just a zap, and it, like, just happens constantly, it doesn't go away until, you know, days later and now. Are you, are you off the stuff now? Yeah, it is day two. Yeah, yeah, and you're, it's going to be hard. You, you should get some support. I don't know, it's like, I know probably most of your friends who you talk to are... I haven't tried any of the pills. I know they're not, you say that all the time, but no, they're not all drug addicts. So I don't like that you always say that a lot, and I know that's what you were about to say. But they're not all drug addicts. Most of the people playing hand with this are not. I want that to be very clear. But um, I do have these pills. I've been scared to take them, though, because... I got these pills from the doctor, but the, and they're for this, but like, um, I don't know. I've taken pills that are similar to this before, and they make me weird and grumpy as fuck when I wake up and shit, and like, and then I'm worried I might sleepwalk and be weird, so I don't know. I'm just scared to take them. Basically, it's like just gonna knock me out, I think, mostly, but, um, <clears throat> I might sleepwalk and be weird now. I, I don't know, I don't like that. So I'm scared to take it because I've never taken one before. It's tranquilizer? But it would help. Basically, it's uh, it's like Seroquel, but stronger. Do you know what Seroquel is? Yeah, well, it's going to be hard. You got AC there? What? You got AC in the house, right? Yeah. Well, well it's going to be 100 degrees. I don't know. It's nice and cool in here. That's good. Well, I'm glad that you're not yeah. doing that stuff and that you have friends. It sounds like you could talk to your friends about it or... If they're not... Yeah, I have people to talk to. But I just also, right now, everybody is, like, weird. But people be weird about it when you're in this phase. And, like, most people don't want to hear it. And they don't have anything to say. And, like, um, they're either scared or concerned or whatever it is, but it's just weird for most people to deal with, for them to process what I'm going through. And so they choose to, like, ignore you. And uh, it sucks. It's frustrating. Because, like, I just want to tell everybody what's going on. I want to be open and honest about everything happening all the time. And I want to tell everybody. And I want to be open and real and talk about it. But most people don't want to hear it. I want to hear it. What? I want to hear it all. You can tell me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So are you having, like, hallucinations and stuff? No, I haven't had any of that. Not like I had before, so that's good. Yes. But I've just been sleeping and chilling, and I, mean, I haven't been in any, like, well, except for yesterday. Yesterday was stressful as fuck, but I wasn't hallucinating yesterday, but it was definitely not. It was not a good situation, that's all. Uh, the whole day was just kind of fucked up and weird. So huh? you, got, you, got, you forced the car off the road, and then did you get kicked out of the car, or did you just kind of calm down after that? After I pulled the car, after I grabbed the wheel and pulled it off the road for a second, he was pissed the fuck off, and we drove for a little ways longer, and then he pulled over to the side of the road and threw all my stuff out. I got out to get it, but then I ran back to the car. He was trying to call the police. I reminded him that if he calls the police, we're both going to get arrested because I'm going to make him get a DV charge as well, uh, because all I have to do is egg him on a little bit, and he will, you know what I mean? Or it doesn't even matter. In Washington State, you guys will both get charged. If I say both of us got hit, they will jump charge us. They just do. That's how they work here. So... <clears throat> Uh, he would have gotten a DV charge, I would have gotten a DV charge, we would have both went to jail, and he would have lost his job. Uh, so then instead of calling the police, he decided to drive me home. Uh, but then when I got home, I wouldn't get out of the car either. Um, I was freaking the fuck out, he threw my shit out, I got on the roof of his car, and he had to go inside the house and get out. He's screaming and shit, and out of fucking Adam starts crying, and Al comes out, and I'm like, when is he now? I was like, oh fuck, I have to get off the car. <laughs> like, fuck, what am I Al getting up here? What? Al was crying? Al was what? You said Al was crying too? No, Adam was crying. Your friend? Oh. Adam, the son. The friend was crying. Al's son. Al's son. Oh, no. Al's friend. Al's son. Al, oh, his son was crying? Yeah. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> that's not good. I know. Because the dude went up in the house yelling and shit. And it was late. Well, it wasn't late. It was like 9 though, when he's asleep and they're in bed, you know, so. Well, um, yeah, but it was not it? good. What? Is he, is he, Al's been, you're lucky to have Al in your life. I know, he's really nice, I know, I know. He's not, no, he still doesn't know exactly, but, um, 
last night it was just accounted for, you know, dumb boys basically. But um Yeah, so Yeah, um I uh, today have just been like crying all day. <laughs> yeah. And um calling exes and um, you know, texting uh that guy repeatedly from different phone numbers that I download because uh I'm sure I'm blocked on all of them now. <laughs> And, uh, he crazy. Definitely give I, I know he blocked me on everything the first, I know he blocked me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, both, and his phone number, and something else online. Yeah, well, and then he, uh, I'm sure blocked my other fake phone number, and then my other fake phone number, and my other fake phone number, and my other fake phone number that I've now since downloaded. You should leave him alone for at least a few days. I know, but I can't stop. Why? I don't know. It's a little sad sack of shit. It's the, um, I, yeah, you leave him alone for a few days. It's not going to matter anyways. Yeah, well, maybe you lost it. That, that guy, if you, if you choked him a little bit. <clears throat> he was kind of an asshole anyway, and I need to get over it. Yeah. But it's so hard. That's, uh, well, I mean, you, you're, whole, you're doing your whole life with lots of people in the world, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm about to lose all interest in that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For a while. And uh, it's hard to get that back and be sober. It That's the thing about mess that sucks, because once you get off of it, you lose a lot of things about yourself. And it's really hard to get those things back. And most people probably don't ever. That's why they end up in codependent relationships that are just safe and they don't ever live their lives again. They don't ever know how to express themselves. They don't ever know how to have sex again. They don't ever know how to do anything again. Because it takes away all those things from you. And to relearn to do that sober is not easy. And, uh,. That's what I was trying to do <clears throat> when I left my grandma's house. I was trying to take back my life, and I was trying to, like, take sex back, take art back, take whatever back, right? Just yeah. enjoying mint of life. And uh, trying to do that led me to places where I lost control. And, um, you know. Well, you were doing very well for a minute there. Yeah, in codependent relationships. You were in a codependent relationship? Was I wasn't right? living. I was in with my, both of my exes and with um, my grandma even. It's a, it was all sort of dependent because it was all to focus on them and not me. It was all a way to not live my own life and to just focus on them so that I was safe. And um, that's not healthy and I'm not living. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't live like that. Like, I knew, and now I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if my options, I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't even know if I'll ever be able to get over that. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'll ever be able to not be codependent. So is it like, is it, is it better to just, uh, fuck off and die a, a tweaker or to live a fucking horrible long codependent life like I don't know which one's worse I really don't right now you know what I mean that's that's what I tell myself I'm like I, but I mean I know that anything is fucking possible I tell I'm like oh I can believe I can believe in this right I can know I know that one day things can get better right it's possible well <clears throat> is it I don't know because I just went through six years of codependency and safety and now I'm like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Since the codependency and safety didn't do shit for me, I didn't grow or learn anything in that time. I just fucking, I did do a job, I guess. <clears throat> and I worked. Oh, I mean, and I was able to work. I wasn't doing that, I mean, I think that I at least was able to work and, uh, and do something. But then, that's work is the only thing that gave me confidence other than sex and mess. So now, I'm left with just sex and mess. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and uh, and then I don't want to work for Star Wars anymore. A job is good to so you have something to do. <sighs> It's not just something to do, it's, I, it helps me because I enjoyed it and I liked it and I, and I liked my job and now I don't like it anymore and I don't want to work and I just want to literally just melt into the earth and start my new life over as compost. Yeah, well nobody wants to do work, but there's like a lot of places that are hiring right now, but uh, I know. Yeah, the I'm not worried about finding a job, I live, I live right by a Safeway and I know they'll take me back because I did this union contract thing, so I know they'll take me, but I just don't want to. It's not, the, being a tweaker is not sustainable. Like, it is for a lot of people that, that they do their whole lives. <laughs> yeah, but then they probably die early, but it's, um, I don't, there's not, I, I think you're, you're looking for too much from life, like, you just gotta, I know it's hard to remember. No, I'm not. Huh? I'm not looking for too much. I tried, I tried not looking for as much. I tried to not look for anything out of life, and I got what I needed out of life to survive, but that was it. And I can't deal with that anymore because I was um, almost like a vegetable compared to I am now like that's how I feel anyway like I mean it's like I just went through the motions every day and I did it for a long time and it was not pleasant the relationships 
your relationships all suffer because of codependency. It's not good for anybody. Um, and if I'm codependent, we're both codependent, whatever, it doesn't matter. Either way, it sucks and it ruins the relationship. They're I down for failure. Yeah. And I they, codependency you know what I mean? I, huh? Codependency takes two people. You can be dependent, but codependent takes well, two people. Whatever. I, it just, it just does not work. And I, it doesn't work for me. And I mean, I, I now, I don't want to go back there. I don't want to be where I'm at either, but I don't want to go back there. And I don't know what that leaves me. Yeah, uh, you might just need to like lay down and... and oh, we're getting a Who is it? Is he, oh, yellow phone calling. Hello! Hey, how's it going? Hi, yellow phone, how are ya? I'm good, how are you? Good, are you watching the live stream? I saw that you were going. Oh, well, James is on the phone, and he's uh, oh, hey. going through a rough patch in his life. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> I mean, rough patch, huh? Yeah. That's my, that's my life. It's, um, no, um, he's going through a rougher patch than you are, y'all. If you want to try to, <laughs> like... You know? Oh, well, one day too. I'm yeah, I'm mean, not definitely going to feel a hard yes, time, but I, I think yes, it, this is kind of a higher level, perhaps. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you were just in Vegas, weren't you? Last week, I think. Last week, something, yeah. I just thought uh, today's my day two without any net. Okay. Um, the way two. <laughs> two days, that's the longest I've went since August. And uh, I want to die, basically. <laughs> I'm fine right now. I'm fine right now. But, yeah. Well, I think in extreme states like this, really I think it, it comes down to having a extreme measure taken when it, like, I don't know. I think it sounds like, you know, there's no, like, unique answer, I think. But I think, I think something along the lines of rehab, you know what I mean? That's a that's a hard substance you're dealing Absolute with. Absolute alcohol is how you go to rehab. What's that? You think alcohol or meth is worse? Are you going to rehab? If I had to guess, which one was worse? I think I said are you going to rehab? Well, I mean, it depends. I mean, it also, it, it depends who you are mixed with the substance. You know, I'm not going to rehab. That's my bottom line. So. I'm having trouble yeah, hearing James a little bit. I mean, it's not very good to say, but I don't know about rehab either. Yeah, well, well, Maybe. if it comes down to if, if it comes down to having a way to stop somebody on a day-to-day -day -day basis, before. like I've done it before yeah. and stopped, and I know I can do it again. I don't want it to be in anybody else's hands. I want to be able to do it myself. I want to be able to do it yeah. for myself, and you know, and I and otherwise because otherwise it's like. Okay, I'm gonna be codependent. It didn't with fucking NA. You know what I mean? Like it's all the same they shit. Will, it's, all, it's all something else to focus my life on. They will like at least like taper you off though if you like probably give you some kind of like half. They'll give me the same pills I have. They'll give me the same pills I, I think have. That maybe, I mean I feel like maybe you've already explored all the professional help. You feel like there's nothing. Or, or like I just don't like the idea of it. I don't want to go to rehab. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to. I mean, maybe there's I some stand it. Even. Maybe there's some sort of alternative to NA or like rehab. I don't know. Maybe there's some other things to explore there. Um, I could try. I need to meditate. I try to, and I might try to think about it. Oh, I might look up some uh, options. Uh, about the right to thing. It's called the program. That, that oh, is yeah. a good thing. Oh yeah. yeah. I was always you might be rehab. Doctor Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want you to. Though. He doesn't need rehab. He has us. What did you say? He doesn't need rehab. He has us. <laughs> That's right. Well, no, I want you to be okay, James. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be wonderful eventually. I'm rehab now. Maybe. If I have to be wonderful in death. Are you drinking um, water, James? What? Are yeah. Wait, what? Are you drinking water? Yeah, I just actually chugged a shit ton of water because I fell asleep outside a little while, well, like a few hours ago. Oh and I just woke up. That'll make it so nice. I've been feeling pretty crazy in the world. Also, I think I think something's going on. It's like I always this time of year is not good for me. 
I'm always like overheated, like it's too hot, the world is like too much. All the kids, every time I see the kids are like graduating and doing things, it kind of reminds you that you're not doing that much to me, you know? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow, that was me not that long ago. Another year and then adults, it's just like same old. Yeah, you're doing the same thing, kids are doing stuff, the kids are coming out, everybody's all excited about things, like people are coming out for the summertime, they're all like... Well, you can, it, people can change radically, but you just settle into your, you know, your day-to-day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, but, I'm, trying to, um, I'm trying to just like, get on, go, like, watch TV and do nothing, and now everybody's out there doing the things, and it's too hard to, to be comfortable, and... It's, it's like too much. There's too much energy in the world for me right now, and so I get. Yeah. It always gets me kind of worked up. So maybe you're having both at the same time. Well, I'm gonna. Um, I was gonna call. I was calling quick to say hi because I'm actually with friends by a pool. I was swimming with friends in a neighborhood pool wow. after work, and we're gonna go drive to get gas station food. But I wanted to say hi to the program because I saw you were live. But James, I hope you start. I hope you do a little better today. I'm gonna. I know it's not really needed, but maybe I'm going to try to brainstorm a little bit. I don't know if that, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be funny. I, you know, I want to, I know, a serious, a serious thing. But anyway, yeah, anyway, I'm going to, yeah, bye James, bye Kenny. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Let's see, how do I... Yep. Yeah, Yelp is trying to, well, maybe he's successfully quitting the booze, but I don't think he's got too much of an addiction to the booze. I don't know what he's got, but, um, I, uh, I don't know. I, 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 you do get irritated. I shouldn't get so irritated, but I hate it when people tell me to go to rehab. I don't know why. Because it's just like, the first thing people say without even thinking, they have no idea what they're even saying. You know what I mean? I'm like, Okay, you know, it's cool, like, I'll do that, you know? I think like, it's a kind of like a, um, like a, you're not in it kind of response. Like, exactly, kind of. I mean, it's because people care. It does come from that, I guess. But it's just, you don't even know what you're telling me, you know? So, I don't know. That's like the obvious thing to do. It's not about that, because you, you don't want to go to the place where everybody's doing that kind of thing. and. Um, it does not really even do much, like, you gotta... You have to want it for yourself. And then, at, at that point, it puts, I mean, you should, I guess some people should go there. But well, once you do that, then you're, like, way deeper into it than, than you want to be, I guess. <laughs> or something, you know what I'm I don't want my family, I don't want my family to go in debt. I don't want nobody to have to pay for that. I don't want to, yeah. you know? I just won't, I feel like it's... So much extra. Like, I understand some people definitely need detoxing, and detoxing would have probably been really good for me because somebody would administer me pills and they would be sleeping somewhere where it's like a more clinical setting, I guess, and I might be a little safer or whatever. But, you know, I already know that I'll be okay because it's just fucking meth, it's just fucking drugs. I'm not gonna die from the re- I'm not gonna die from the fucking uh, withdrawals. I'm just gonna be shitty for a while, and I know that yeah. it's okay. I can be shitty for a while and make it through it. I, it's just hard, but right now I really want to. Right now I want to. I really don't want to do any drugs. I don't want to do any drugs right now because I don't want to. Well, I'm still smoking the pot and drinking, whatever. But I don't want to do no meth. I'm not. I don't want to because I don't want to prove everybody right. All these people who argue, all these people who are negative, who say, "Oh, you're just a fucking tweaker," all that shit. I, I hate it, and I don't want to. I can't prove nobody right. I can't I don't, just start I don't think you yet. can die from the withdrawal from the meth. I think, like, opiates and no, you alcohol, don't. you can die from it, but I think the meth, I don't think you can just die from it. Yeah, I don't, opiates, I don't know if it's necessarily die, well, you might die from the symptoms, from the, from the symptoms of opiates, ex- the dehydration and puking. If you're doing the, if you're heavy into opiates and you want to quit, you have to go to the doctor. Because, yeah, there's a big Huh? Because you'll be all sick, extremely it sick. No, but you could die. You could easily die from from not doing from the it. sickness part, though. From huh? the sick part, because you're going to be throwing up and puking in your air and shitting, and you're going to be dehydrated as fuck, and your body is going to shut down from uh, die, in that way. People often die from not doing it. So I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that necessarily with opiates, but I do know with alcohol you can seize, and with um, benzos and um, things like Xanax, you can die from just the withdrawals. 
But I think that with opiates, you're dying from the symptoms of the withdrawals rather than like the withdrawal itself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, you choke on your arm or something, yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, you're having a hard time. It's like, a, you, like, it's not real stuff anyway. You gotta, yeah, <laughs> with your, it's not. It's not real. It's real, but it's but it is real because the reality is only what you perceive it to be. So yeah. you know, uh, it is real, but it's not at the same time. And it's like you just gotta pretend you're somewhere else, and um, you cry a lot, and you might scream and flip the fuck out on people. Uh, that's why you try to stay away. That's why I'm just staying home. I'm not going out. I'm not doing anything. I'm staying home, and I'm uh, hating myself and everything around me. But really, it's kind of I, it, it, I, that's an extreme way of saying I'm meditating. <laughs> I'm glad that you're, yeah, um, that you're not doing it. Did you talk to Heather? Yeah, she's actually going to come over and show with me in a while. That's good, because I actually called <laughs> Heather when my grandma died. I was like, who am I going to yeah. call? And I called Heather because she is, uh, deals with the deaf people who are dead. Yeah. So I called Heather, so she's a good friend, I think. I yeah. know, <laughs> uh, oh, she is. That's good. I've known her since kindergarten. Yeah. yeah. Um. Are you? Don't. don't yeah. Don't, you don't smoke too much weed either. That'll make you like, like. You can smoke enough to relax, but I don't. You know, like. That's not good. Or drinking too. You know, I don't you hardly smoke that much weed right now. Anyway, I mean, I smoke every day, but I don't smoke that much. Like, I don't know. I smoke a few bowls maybe in the day. Like, you know, what I mean, like, like not even a few bowls. Like a bowl. Or two. Yeah. I mean, a few hits. How about what? How much are you drinking? Drinking is pretty bad for you. Yesterday, I, drank, I haven't drank anything today. I'm not drinking that much lately either. I just haven't. I, I probably will, to some degree, replace meth with alcohol because that's probably what's going to happen. But it's only. It, but as long as I'm not in a like last time, it, was, it, it became a extreme. It became extreme because of the relationship I was in. Was it became and became extreme alcoholic basically with DJ and um but before that when I was with Brandon I didn't drink hardly I mean you know I would drink like maybe maybe a beer a day if that you know um and not even that much with Brandon and that's probably what I mean I don't know I don't know I I think it's um I don't know it can be a fun activity you can make it into more of an activity than just drinking you know if I make a fancy drink or something like that or I make a you know what I mean and then I like put work in I don't know if I make it into like some kind of something more than just getting drunk then I think it'll be okay. And whereas if yeah. I just like start getting drunk all day, then that's a problem. But it's, you know, if I have a drink a day and I make it, I don't know, I think that's okay. A drink or two every day, that's fine. It's hard as to get through the days. <clears throat> you, what? It's hard to get through the days, it is. You should get, a, I think you should try to get another job. I know, oh, I know, I definitely have to do that. I mean, eventually I'm gonna have to start paying all this rent off. Like, <clears throat> you know. Yeah, how are you? I'm not. <laughs> I paid some of it. How are you, paid, how are you getting by? Uh, well, first of all, I can't be evicted unless I do something illegal at the home, which he would evict me for. Well, you can't. Um, you can't be like maybe legally evicted, but it's still like not very nice. Well, no, but I also give him power, power, I give him my food stamp card to use, and I did pay for a couple of the months, and well, I paid for um, three months, I believe. So how many is that? Like I might owe for two or three more. So it's not that much. It's like gonna be fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah. So and he's he's really chill and nice. He he, under, he understands my situation mostly. He doesn't know everything, but he understands. And he um he doesn't exactly need my money for the house anyway. So <clears throat> you know he basically supported everybody himself and his husband before. So wow. you know it's not like he needs it exactly. And yeah. I am giving him my food stamps. Okay. Uh, he, well, he, takes it. he didn't even take yeah, it though. Yeah, he yeah, didn't even use it. That's a nice, that sounds like very, what a nice guy. I know. He is. I'm going to be, yeah, I might have to move to my grandmother's house pretty soon here. Yeah. I'm dreading that. Um, actually, but just like moving and stuff, I don't really want to deal with that. I got to clean up all I that stuff. I hate moving. Like, it's hard to, it's hard to deal. Uh, it is hard to deal. It's very difficult. Everything is difficult. Let's give it up for me, Joe. Huh? It's really difficult for me too. You know who always helps me move is Ashley. She's great at just showing up, putting your shit in boxes, and packing it up and going. Like she does not take that shit. She turns into mommy, and she's like, "Nope, we're getting this done." <laughs> yeah, should I call Ashley? Yeah, she'll help you. Ashley, <laughs> move. Maybe. How's that? How's that <laughs> the kid? 
How are they doing? What? How are they? I'm fine. I guess Emily's gone for three weeks visiting family. Wow. Um, I know. It's a long time. Yeah, now she's party it up, yeah. huh? I, you know, Ashley's been sick. She thinks she had norovirus. She didn't think she had, did she get the vaccine? No, she thinks she has norovirus. Yeah? What's that? Which like? is like a shitting thing, you know, oh basically. <laughs> um, but she was sick for like a couple days. Um, and then... Did she get the vaccine? Uh, I don't know. I think so, but I'm not sure. Because there's this new weird variant, they call it the Delta variant. Uh -huh. And it has like different, it's like, it's like the, it's still the same virus, but it's like doing different things to you. Like, maybe that kind of, like that kind of thing, or like, gangrene, but not so much coughing. Gangrene? Yeah, you can get gangrene, you can get the, the intestinal distress, I call it. <clears throat> yeah, gangrene, because Does the virus the even protect against it? What? I mean, does the vaccine even protect against yeah, the it? the vaccine is, is protects against it, yeah. It protects against all the variants? Yeah. yeah. Oh. So get that vaccine, everybody, but, uh... Because the new one gives you gangrene, because you ever hear about that, like, people getting the blue toes or something? Yeah, gangrene is when you get, like, an infection on your, from a cut or whatever, and it, you gotta lose your arm or your whatever. Yeah, gangrene, sure. gangrene is when parts of your body that are still attached are dead. Yeah, because you get in, it starts with an infection. Yeah. Well, then, the, then it's like pieces of, it's like you got dead, like your finger is dead, but you're alive, and then you got a dead thing connected to you. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No good, no good. Uh, I'm gonna record a message to the future. Hey. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Uh, Hi. We're talking James and Lincoln is struggling. And, uh... Don't come here. Yo, folks, um... Don't come here. No, no, no. Bye, future. Well, hey, James, you want to get on the meat? Oh, sure. I forgot that I'm not on it. I'm like, wait. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be calling you back. You, you can do the video or not if you... whatever. So then I could call yep. people on the phone. Yep. Yep. Okay, get on the meal. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. bye. Alright, Jim's gonna get on the meat. And then, uh, and we can make some calls. I'm trying to call my brother. I don't know if he's gonna answer. I think he's gonna be at work, but we'll try. I don't. Yeah, he didn't get days off anymore. So then. Bong, 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 bong. Hello, this is Ty's phone. Leave a name and number and she'll call you back as soon as you can. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew, it's Paul from where are you? Are you sleeping? You're probably working. You got about 10 minutes, so you want to call us back. Uh, oh, there, there's James. Uh, bye, Andrew. All right. What did you shirt say? You trash. Uh, uh, wait, what's this? Uh, okay, I'm gonna call Mark, the guitar player. Let's see if Mark, he's trying to quit. I haven't heard him for a while, I feel like. Mark's trying to quit cigarettes. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> yep. yep. I don't know what I extremely busy, like I have this program and I have my job, it's like pretty much the thing, like yesterday I had the day off, and I didn't really have much to do when I did the program, but I got out of the hospital, I need to do it. Sorry, you cannot leave a message for three. So, 
to me, like, and if I wasn't doing things, I remember, like, well, it's a, like, like a, yeah, my grandma died. Like, that was like, the last real, like, bad thing. Yeah, I mean, the whole time, of course, the whole virus time. <coughs> right. But, like, um, like, having the program and also my job kind of is, like, what gets me, keeps me going. Yeah. So, like, I recommend starting a TV show every single day. <laughs> hey. I might call you every day. Hey, you're invited. Um, hey, hey, I'm actually going to call. I'm going to come back. Sorry. Okay. Well, how about, let's call Fred the producer. Maybe we can look at the 2017. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. It's us the past. Over here. Hey, Freddy. Okay. And we're watching this Budapest video. You have been to Budapest? And uh, from Mr. Catherine. Uh, I remember when we forgot to yesterday. I remember to say it was Mr. Catherine. How are you? Are you avoiding the heat? You got AC in the room? It's in the daytime, for sure. Okay, back here about 10 minutes. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. It's Thursday. <laughs> Hungry. Uh, we're going to look at a bunch of old these messages. It's Friday today, this day. Friday, huh? Oh, How are you? Bye. Oh, that's today. I was looking at the past. That was 2017. Oh. What? 17. What an easy time. How many years was that? Four. Three, five? Four, four years. Oh, four years. Four years ago, 2017. I guess I was with friends. Did the, did the, um, <laughs> did the, did the whole lockdown thing, like, make you have, like, I always, like, scoff at, like, it's like mid midlife times. They call them midlife crises. I wouldn't say it's a midlife crisis, but you're like, just like, man, what is, what is it all about? And I wasn't going to do that if it wasn't for the virus, but I feel like it made me do that. Do what? The virus and the lockdown made me think it's like, what, what am I doing with my life? You know, you're like, what am I doing? Like, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I had too. Because that's why I couldn't stay there anymore. Because I, I was realized that I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. It's a lockdown. The lockdown really uh, put that into perspective, which for me too. Yeah, it, it fucked me up in the head. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, I mean. I'm, if you're not recovering from it, then you are lying to yourself, maybe. Or you didn't you know, deal with it, I guess. Yeah. Well, what? People had a lot of family. People, I feel like people had like a tight family or something. It was like easier for them to do. Oh, yeah. You know? More to focus on. Yeah. Well, you're not doing that, that much anyway. Like, for me, it was like I'm going out all the time. I was like, my social life was like a crowd, you know? Yeah. And when it's like when the, now there's no more crowds, and I don't know if I want to go back to that. I have to like reestablish what it's all about. And I know kind of how you were too. I think more about. I didn't. I didn't go out like that, but I did have a lot of people I would see, and um, but it that's. But I'm saying it wasn't like a like a small unit. It was like a bunch of people. Like you had a. Yeah, it's not like a tight crew of people who's together anyway. Yeah, no, a bunch of random people. Yeah, <clears throat> and which would be totally fine in the regular times, but now it's like, that's a weird thing to be doing. But like, all you know, at least for me, it's like, what am I going to do now? You know, it's like, am I going to move on from that, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see, we're getting through, we have about eight minutes left. Uh, yeah. I like, the, I like this kind of noise, like, it's like, James's therapy session on the program today. How uh, what do you do for breakfast? Are you feeding yourself? Are you, at least? Um, I, uh, 
Uh, <laughs> um, I woke up. Um, I ate. Yeah, I ate, to I ate toast. That's it. Put some coffee, and then I went back to bed. I have toast almost every morning when I wake up. Then I went back to bed. I think cried, and then went back to bed, and then uh, cried more probably. And I don't know. And then I ate. And then just now I ate some top ramen shit. Some like oh. not top ramen, but like the spicy, the spicy chicken one in the big black package. You know what I'm talking about? In the Asian store. Yeah. What kind that of uh, what kind of toast is it? Um, I don't know. He gets this. Uh, it's called. It's like Safeway brand, I think, or uh, it's like it's like artisanal white or something like that. Artisanal white bread, huh? Just white toast with like butter. Like that, yeah. Basically, just white toast with butter. I just love toast. I also okay. love sour. But like, if they never eat white sour toast, I don't. I oh. I would buy. If I would, yeah. I think you should kind of make yourself eat something a little bit more substantial. I don't. Well, I mean. I'm not really hungry now. I ate, I ate that fucking top ramen shit and I cut up a half a spam in there. Half of a low sodium spam because I don't like the, it's too salty regularly. And um, I ate some popcorn, I think. I some old popcorn. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's like when you're not feeling good, you, like emotionally, yeah. then you don't do things that are going to help yourself. Yeah, I know. And then it gets worse that way. It does. Like, but I do keep my vitamins. Yeah, that's good. Like, maybe you don't, like, you're, si or you're, maybe you're sleeping too much or you're not eating well. And then if you don't eat well, at least for me, I will be, like, grumpy. And I, I never do it. I pretty much always am eating because I know. So I never know. No, I'm always eating too, usually. So I never but, let myself get there because I'll be grumpy if I don't eat food. But I, So I'm always eating food. Yeah, these few days are going to be rough, and I'm probably going to sleep mostly and like do nothing, but I'm, I'm sure that I will wake up a little bit after a few days. And Did you get rid like, of your, like, stash? I trimmed it a little bit. Not your mustache, like your, like... Oh, I made sure to do it all <laughs> before the end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, so don't, you don't get any more. <clears throat> I'm not, yeah. Yeah. That's my plan, anyway, obviously. Does Al know what you're going through? No. You want to tell him? I will probably, like, when I'm more through it. Yeah. But... Well, it's good, it's good I, to tell people, it's for, like, like... I know, because they can hold me accountable. When I, like, when I was writing that book, I was telling everybody that I was going to do it, and then I was doing it, and people, like, th thought that it was because I was, um, being conceited or something. But <laughs> I, was, I wanted to... Make myself it make, do it. Yeah. So if I didn't tell people I was going to do it. I get it. That's why I told y'all. That's why I'm tell, I've told a lot of people. And I've told, you know, I, I know. Yeah. It does help. That's good. Well, yeah, are you didn't get out of the house at all? Um, today I didn't. Yeah. But I don't know. Nothing to do anyway. I might go to the grocery store. Like, well, yeah. Tomorrow I'll have to leave the cigarettes. Okay. Well, like, uh, be, yeah. like, like these next three days are gonna be really hard to get through. It's gonna be like 90, and then like 100, maybe three days in a row of 100 degree weather. Yeah, I want to go to the lake or something. It's supposed to be the hottest day of all time on recorded history. What day? Sunday. Forever, everywhere. This. Or for just that. For, for Washington. For Washington. It's the hottest day ever recorded? That's, it, well, it hasn't happened yet. That's what they're saying. Maybe oh. they, hopefully they're completely wrong and it's overcast and cool. How oh, hot? I thought it was going to be like 109. Yeah. 106. That's the hottest ever in Washington? 106 is the, rec is the record I heard. Really? Yeah. Oh. How hot was it in Vegas? It's going to be hotter than it was in Vegas, right? It was, no, it was 120 degrees when I landed. 120? Yeah, it was the hottest day. They said that was their record. They redirected. And then it was like 118 for most of the time I was there. Oh my god, and you, you went outside in that? A little bit, yeah. You mostly go from, you know, getting cars, or even if you walk the strip, you can walk into the malls everywhere. There's malls everywhere, so you can go into the malls or in the casinos to get through to the other casinos and stuff, and you don't have to be outside the so whole you time. Never leave the AC. Yeah, basically. I mean, when you, you do, though, sometimes, and it's horrible. And then it's really bad because the street, everywhere it's cement, everything is cement everywhere. And that shit emanates heat, and all the cars are hot. And you can feel it from certain spots where there's more cars and shit. It's hot as fuck. And uh, the heat makes shit stank. Yeah. 
Uh, it's steak. <laughs> I really am not looking forward to these next couple of days. I'm like, I'm actually kind of freaked out. Like, uh, I think I might, I mean, I have, I mean, I'm, 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 I could do it like the program in the basement or something again, but I don't know. I'm, I got I to gotta go to work. <laughs> like, I'm scheduled to work. I don't know. Maybe we should close. Is it going to be that hot in your work? Where do you, do you, y'all have no AC? I mean, I guess they do. Still. <laughs> So I'm scared. I don't know. I'm gonna like. I'm, I guess I shouldn't be freaking myself out. I should be taking my own advice about just like letting things go by and then it's gonna be go and come and go. But I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm like having some anxieties about this, this next few days by making it through it. I don't know. The summertime freaks me out. Too hot. It's too hot. I don't know. It doesn't bother me. I like the heat. I some years. Get, I'm kind of overwhelmed around this time of year. This year it's not bothering me. Normally it does though. It like I usually can't stand it and I'd be too sweaty and hot, but now I'm kind of digging it. Even when I was in Vegas, it wasn't like bothering me as much as I thought it would. But it's a dry heat there too. It's different. Well, dry heat is a lot more tolerable. Is there a dry heat up here? No, we have a moist. We're we're humid. <clears throat> we're humid. We're humid. So yeah. our our we have humid heat. Well, it's very different. It feels very different. Well. It's muggy here, but it, it doesn't feel muggy there. Maybe because you got the uh, AC, it's, it's better. It's because it's just the temp, it's just the air outside. It's different. Alright, well, uh, thanks James, thanks for calling today. Mm -hmm. Thanks, yellow fellow. I think that's it, that's all we talked to today. Oh, there it is. We made it. Alright, right. What a, what a day. You can... Call back and leave another message. You should leave me right tomorrow if you want. Uh oh. What the heck? Uh. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. It's Wednesday. We're on TC TV channel 22, 11 30 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, what is your room on YouTube? What is smelling? Yeah, thanks, 260 Call me message here on T. YGCPM.com. Yeah, TCTV, the baby, Jerry Thomas, Circle Bits. Ben Rams, good song, thank you. TCTV, the baby, Jerry Thomas, Circle Bits, Four Star Video, Mark Carpe, Rebecca, Mountain Boy, North West, Dr. Pratt.com, Christian Kelly. Watch the thing, I say thank you, and viewers. Ew, that's me for watching, thank you. Hey, John. I, I almost called you today. Call me. Hell yeah, dog! Bye!